Hua! How's everybody doing? This is Army Guy E8, and welcome back to World of Tanks Console. Today we're looking at the Premium American Tier 10 Medium Tank, the M48A2, also known as the T54E2. This is the new Winter Warrior tank you can earn at Stage 100 with the Season Pass. This is the fourth American Medium Tier 10 tank, but only the third Premium. We took this tank onto the battlefield 100 times to see how it would perform, and we also wanted to earn this beautiful hero skin, which we accomplished. And here is your bluff, the bottom line up front. We like this tank a lot. This tank is incredibly easy to play. It has a big, strong, accurate gun, fast speed, and average tier 10 medium tank armor. Let's take a look at the tank's origin. A variant of the M48A2 tank with the T54E2 turret and a 120 mm Tango 123 Echo 6 gun. In 1958, the prototype underwent comparative trials aiming at choosing armament to be used in the US M60 medium tank, and we've all seen that tank. It's a beautiful tank as well. American Steel, unlike anything else, with its excellent aim time, accuracy, gun depression, reload speed, and alpha damage, this tank is a battlefield classic in the making. With its exceptional mobility, this vehicle will get you exactly where you need to be quickly and effectively. All right, let's look at the numbers. You're going to be able to go 48 kilometers per hour in this tank. And as we said before, you have the 120 millimeter Tango 123 Echo 6 gun. And off the assembly line, right out of the box, you're looking at a rate of fire of 6.67. We've got ours up to 7.41. Reload time starts at 9. We've got ours down to 7.8 seconds. Aim time, 2.1. Accuracy starts at 0.34. Ours is at 0.24. And you're going to see our nine skill commander. We moved into this premium tank to get the best benefit. View range starts out at 410 meters. We have ours with this commander at 478 meters. You can see nearly anything you need to on the battlefield. Ammunition. The alpha ammo is AP and it pens for 258. The premium ammo is heat and it pens for 340. You're going to do about 400 hit points of damage into the enemy every time you squeeze that trigger. And the best part of this gun, other than it being 120 millimeters, 10 degrees of gun depression, 20 degrees of gun elevation. Let's look at the armor. The turret durability, armor thickness is between 25 and 203 millimeters of armor. The thickness of the hull and the frontal armor between 60 and 170 millimeters. Just make sure you do your tank busting from a safe distance because this vehicle's armor is not intended for frontline combat. However, its accuracy and powerful gun with its excellent depression make it the ideal vehicle for thinning the enemy numbers, dominating in a haul down combat situation on the battlefield, which is what you're going to see coming up in a minute in our replay. So make sure and stick around. All right, our nine skill commander is ready to go. She has six sense, situational awareness, rapid reload, track mechanic, born leader, camo, steady aim, run and gun, and snapshot. That's what we got her set up with, and she likes running it that way. The equipment loadout, optics, gun stabilizers, vents, and targeting info. All right, that's it. That's all the details. That's the numbers. Let's get on our body armor. Let me take this tank out onto the battlefield and show you one of our best battles. All right, all right. We find ourselves on Prokrovka. We're in a standard battle, and... We want to go up on the hill, use our gun depression, but the two arties will probably be focused on the upslope of the south side where we're at. So we're going to skip the hill. We're going to push the rail line and see if we can get a little bit of spotting ahead, defend left, and then snipe right hill if enemy come in contact up on the right side. We just have to watch out for these uh, yellow and light tanks at the beginning. But as long as we keep moving, I think we're going to be already safe over here. First shot of the battle, first contact, beautiful.
Now it's always a touchy spot to be right here by the rail line, but as long as we keep moving, keep dodging, diving, dipping, bobbing, and weaving, I don't think the Artie's going to even try and take a shot at us. We're looking all the way back at the enemy spawn from the 50-yard line right here. The view range on this tank is beautiful. All right, we see an Artie on the left. We saw the rain. Oh, we got hit. Tank destroyer hit us. The grill. Grill got us for about 670. We're going to have to recover from that. We need to stay alive. We need to keep the guns singing. We want to do as much damage as possible. Got some nice spotting assist out of something. 1,400 assist. I, I, I like that. So far, so good. We're getting exactly what we wanted out of this position. We're spotting and sniping the hill right. We're spotting straight ahead. There's still my, uh, quite a few tank destroyers uh, on the enemy line up there. My bet, they're sitting on the railroad tracks behind the rail car, as usual. So, we need to be ready for that. They're going to be straight ahead of us right here. So, we want to be in position when somebody finally spots those cats... We're going to be able to put some uh, put some heat on them. Oh, did not pen. And there's one. They tracked us. Reload. Get the grill. Reload. Uh, two shots taken. Two miss. One hit. One miss. We got some more assists there. The enemy contact on the left is lightened up. We're up by three. Still a lot more damage we could do here. There we go. A little bit of payback. Oh, there's another TD. We've won the hill on the right. Looks like we're pushing over. Oh, no damage. That's three shots, three hits, no damage. That was an extra 1,200 damage we could have had, but that's okay. There was a hit. I knew they'd be sitting on the tracks there. We're only up by two. Little blind shot there. They should be hanging out on the back. Yep, there they are. One's running and one's hanging back. You can see the aim time quite good on this tank. Reload time, beautiful. Accuracy. Nice. We won the left side. We won the hill. Looks like we've got them boxed in. We're going to have to close the door on them. We're going to have to get in there in a minute. Risk it for the biscuit, so to speak, and uh, see if we can put some more damage. Oh, almost a kill. We just missed him. Come on, reload, reload, reload. Get him, get him. Hit it, lower plate. KO. Nice. Somebody else got it. There's some more assist. We're racking up the assist. Still three enemy left. We see two of them. We got the tank destroyer and the heavy tank. Could finish off the grill. Get a little full redemption for that first shot he pinned into us. Heavy tank's gone. <laughs> the tank destroyer got into the heavy tank. Oh, up on the hill. Snap. In reverse snapshot. 
man. All right, we're spawning both of these vehicles right now, so any damage that happens, we should get assist for it. And it's still building up, looking great on the direct assist and the damage assist. Kill shot. KO. All right, that's the battle. Victory. All right, let's see what the details are. We got two kills, 4494 damage. First place. All right, let's look at it by the numbers. Oh, very nice. 57,000 silver made. Two destroyed, 4494 direct damage. 17 hits, best in game. Felt like we had more than that. Assist, 4306, best in game. All right, we got a first class. I'll take it. Woo. Man, what do you have to do to get an ace tanker in this thing? Oh, well. Good, good game, good battle, great tank. Top of the leaderboard for the team, I'll take it. Uh, overall, I'm gonna, we're going to have to give two thumbs up to this tank. We love it. We'd give uh, two thumbs up and a big toe. We'll make it three. If you get a chance to pick up this tank, you got to get it. You can't beat an American premium tier 10 medium tank. Hey, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe and then go check us out over on Twitch for some live streaming action. And we will see you on the battlefield.